All right, Halos, how's everyone doing today? We are once again doing some old Flash games. Uh, this is one of the oldest games that I remember playing, um, on Flash at least, on the, like browser games. And um, I poured so much time into this game <laughs> when I was younger. Uh, it was really awesome. So we're going to go to the campaign. It's called Warlords Call to Arms, made by, I guess, Ben Olding. Um, I guess there's actually a site you can do it. I'll try to link all the stuff in the description. But uh, yeah, you can search for this stuff on, on Google and stuff as well if you need to. But yeah, it says conquer the, the land by invading one region at a time, earn money by killing the enemy's troops, then spending it on upgrading your army and adding units. Uh, note your campaign will be automatically saved after each level. Um, so you can actually choose your race here. There's a bunch of different races. So the night elves, um, they all have their little like uh, descriptions down here. Feel free to read that. Uh, just pause to read it probably would be the best way. Um, the archery is plus two, I believe that's damage, so that these guys have good archers, and the swords are, looks like, minus two, um, I believe. And then, like, uh, the orcs are plus two for the halberd and minus two for the archers, so they're not as good in archery. And then these, the wood elves are plus one in archery, minus one in spear. And then the orcs are plus one sword, minus one archery. Uh, the orcs of the south, I mean. I think there's the north and the south orcs. Yeah. And then the undead have plus three for the halberd and minus three for archery. And men of the west are plus two sword, minus two halberd. And the mountain trolls are speed plus one. And so they're like extra fast, basically. And they have armor minus one. But everything else is normal, so you don't get any like negatives pretty much other than the armor, which can be a definite problem. Um, the human alliance are armor plus one and spear minus one. And I believe, yeah, we already, these are the Orcs of the North. So yeah, we've already gone through all the races now. Um, one thing to note, by the way, um, is that depending on which faction or race that you choose, you actually start in a different part of the map and you want to conquer like all of the map basically to win. Um, but another thing to mention is one of the races you can't actually play as, it's like the, the final boss or like the demons or something, I think. I'll have to remember exactly what they're called, but um, also each of the individual, race, individual races actually have like unique units to them. So uh, depending on who, who you want to go as, everyone has like, they all have their different like, unique units. Um, <clears throat> Human Alliance has a pretty cool guy. He's like, I forget what he's called, but he's like kind of cool. He has a big shield and like a big sword and he does really, really well. Um, pretty strong. These Night Elves have like this double-sided halberd. Um, it's actually kind of awesome, but uh, yeah, different stuff for that. And then I believe... I can't remember which what these guys have exactly as their special unit, but each each race has like at least one special unit, sometimes two. And then sometimes they don't have uh, certain things. Like the undead have this like flail guy, and he's actually really, really cool, really strong. And then the um, the mountain trolls have this huge troll that you can play as as well. Or not play as, but you know, you can send out. Um, but yeah, anyways, without much more ado, I don't want to spend too long explaining everything. But um, let's see, who should we pick? I think the mountain trolls would be kind of interesting to do. But let's go ahead and do, um, let's do this the starter one that they... They kind of advertise as like the first one. He's also on the, the title there. We'll go with the Night Elves this time. Um, if you guys want me to play a different one, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll try to do some more videos on this if you guys are interested. Let's go ahead and start the campaign. So you start off with these base units. You have the Spearmen, which you can see their stats right down at the bottom there, the speed, the armor, the range, and the max damage. And they also have like a little description there as well. They're fast moving and the quick to produce. Um, each unit has a cooldown individual to them, uh, and I believe... I think either that or they they all reset every time you send a unit out. I can't forget which one it is exactly, but yeah, um, swordsmen they have less speed obviously, but a lot more armor, um, a little bit less range, and then their max damage is higher, uh, depending on of course who you which race you have. Um, these can also increase different stuff like this. So the swordsmanship we're starting with minus two, and the marksmanship we're starting with plus two. So everyone else is zero, which just means they're the regular damage. They're not anything bonus. And then the archer has a pretty slow speed, uh, pretty low armor, and then his range is super high, of course. And then the max damage is actually lower than both of these. But you can like stack these up, and they're pretty good. So, yeah. Um, very dangerous in large numbers. Yep. You can also buy different units. So you have the money up here, um, and you can buy more units. So um, the mage you can buy for 900. This is all, all the stats down there. you got mounted spearmen, halberdier, mounted halberdier, 
and then a scout. And halberdiers are actually pretty good. I should probably go ahead and grab him. Um, but scouts and then long swordsmen, which are actually quite good. They're really strong, especially. Um, and then the whirler is their unique unit. He's pretty good. Very cool, very cool. Um, and then... Yeah, yeah, and then the Axeman. Uh, attacks while charging forward, so he kind of like uses, he like drives people back and pushes them back. Um, so yeah, pretty good. A uh, bunch of different stuff you could do here for sure. We could go ahead and just uh, use our, our 500 gold to just go ahead and upgrade what we have so far. But um, I think the smartest thing to do is go ahead and grab the Harbardier. Actually, you know what? No, let's let's save our money for now, and we'll see how we feel. Uh, let's go ahead and continue to the map screen, and this is the whole map that you want to conquer. So you've got all these different races, and depending on who you start as, that's where you'll start from. Um, these are the demons that I was talking about. I believe they're called demons, and they are the hardest of all. But um, as you see, when you hover over, you can actually see the difficulty, and every time you defeat an enemy, that actually goes up overall, um, so it gets harder and harder over time. But um, yeah, the difficulty is 3%, and these are the Orcs of the North. You've got 2% Men of the West, 5% uh, Men of the West, this one's a bit harder, and 3% Men of the West. So we could go with the easiest ones, but right now I'm actually thinking about uh, going with the harder one. Um, let's go ahead and try him out and see how we do. You know what, actually, no, no let's, go, let's go an easy one, and then we'll do a harder one after that. Just kind of show you guys the... Um, the different versions so how to play is uh it's pretty simple you just have to get this top bar all the way to the right and then um there's also a timer if if you guys if you can't get it quite all the way there whoever has the more um which which side has more like a bar they're the ones that win and you can obviously switch to which which one you want to do with the arrow keys and then i believe it is yeah you can go up or down there you have, there's like i think two three four maybe seven lanes i believe and then uh yeah that's about it i think we just press spacebar to start the game and start sending our first unit so our swordsmen actually are a little bit weak um and our archers are actually pretty strong so i'm gonna go start with arch some archers here as you can see they also have their own cooldown that they want to do and you can s switch different lanes and stuff but um depending on what you want to do you might not want to always do that so we'll see I'm going to go ahead and send a Spearman here and a Spearman here just to protect the archers because they are a little bit weak. There we go. Send a couple of Spearmen down here. Ooh, it looks like we're getting wrecked up here, so let's try to take them out if we can. Yeah, they're wrecking us a little bit here. They do have Halberdiers and they ended up buying some stuff, so... They are a little bit tricky, but we should be fine to do it. Of course, you could send like some swordsmen and then send some archers right after them if you wanted to like double up a little bit and stuff. Definitely some options there. Yeah, the halberders are really good if you stack them up, actually. But yeah, this is level one, and we will continue. Once we, once we finish this one. So we actually did get a few guys through at the top here, as you can see. So we did send some people through, and we're doing pretty good there. Uh, looks like they're going to probably wreck my archers here a little bit with these axemen. Oh, and then once you send a certain amount, I believe, I don't remember the exact, you can press this charge and press Q and select which unit you want to send out of every lane. And that's a really cool thing to do. And most of the time, I just try to focus on the middle. Usually, they'll they'll like try to send people top and bottom, but um, people are, uh, they'll, once you like start sending a ton of mid, they'll usually start sending a bunch of mid as well. So yeah, I just gonna kinda spam the mid. Now that we have that charge, we have like everything backed up for us. So we're doing pretty good. So yeah, every time you, you do send one out, it resets the cooldown on all the other ones. So that is something to note. And also you can just hold down the button and it'll immediately send them whatever one you have hovered over. So we're doing really good here. We're actually pretty close to winning here. So we're getting guys through and every time we get one through it adds another little bit to this bar up here at the top. There we go. And victory we won. Um, so yeah, there we go. 
Uh, click to continue. It says Sinshan is now owned by Night Elves. And we can continue on to the next part. But yeah, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and end the video here. And we'll continue in the next part. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you there. Peace.